Greetings from the Redeemed Christian Church of God, New Covenant Parish in Oklahoma City. This is the Open Heavens for June 21st, 2019. Open Heavens is a daily devotional written by the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E.A. Adeboe. The title for today is The Missionary Call. The Missionary Call. The memory verse is Luke chapter 5, verse 8. Luke chapter 5, verse 8 says, When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at his Jesus' feet, knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. The Bible reading is in Acts chapter 13, verse 1 to verse 5. Acts chapter 13 verse 1 to verse 5 which reads now in the church that was at Antioch there were certain prophets and teachers Barnabas Simeon who was called Nije Lucius or Siren Manaim who had been brought up with Herod the Tetrarch and Saul as they ministered to the Lord and fasted, the Holy Spirit said, Now separate to me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. So being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there, they sailed to Cyprus. And when they arrived in Salamis, they preached the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews. They also had John as their assistant. So as you can see from the Bible readings, and even from the memory verse, we are linking this to the missionary call. As we can see even from the Bible reading, there was a separation and due to that separation of Saul and Barnabas for the work to which they have been called, they went out to preach the gospel even to different cities from Seleucia, they went to Cyprus, their life Salamis and they preached the word of God. So they obeyed the missionary call, which is what we as believers also need to do. Even the memory verse that we read too, Simon Peter, yes, he, he, he was converted, he became Jesus' disciples, and as a result of that, he also went about to preach the gospel. So all these are great examples of people who obeyed the missionary call. And our daddy the Lord is um, starting this devotional today by emphasizing the fact that he uses every opportunity possible to remind his children, we his children, that soul winning is not an option for Christians. Soul winning is not optional for Christians. It is mandatory. It is a call that we all have to eat to. It is a necessity. It is not um, 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 optional. We have to fulfill that call. Because God has made provision for the salvation of all mankind through the death and resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. But the truth of the matter is that as much as he has made this provision, you know, sinners may not have access to this salvation 
unless preachers are sent. There's a free gift of salvation available to all men, all men, but preachers need to be sent to give this good news of salvation so that men can be saved. Even Mark 3 verse 14 was talking about this call that he has given unto his disciples and his children. He says, and your day 12, that they should be with him, that he might send them forth to preach. Sending them forth to preach. So we need to answer this missionary call as God's children so that we can be sent forth and we have been sent forth to preach the gospel. And this call of God, this missionary call, you know, can be tied to a specific place, a task, or a vocation in life. Just like in the case of Moses and Jeremiah and Abraham, there are specific purposes for their call. But there's also a call that is of general nature. And the call of general nature we are looking at today is the missionary call. It is not for specific Christians. It is not for a specific class of people. It is a call to all believers. We have been called to accomplish this great commission. And the primary mandate of the church of God in line with this is to reach out to all the nations of the earth with the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ and teaching and baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He has given this call and mandate to the church and we at the church are going to fulfill this mandate to reach all the nations of the earth, all the nations of the earth with this gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is referred to an author here, which even shows the fact that we need to go out there and preach the gospel, whether as aliens in foreign lands or aliens in uncharted territories, we need to go out there to preach the gospel. And it says that it was a Jew who brought the gospel to Rome. Now, when the Jew, when the apostle was gone to Rome, a Roman took it to France. Now, when it was brought to France and they received the gospel, a Frenchman took it to Scandinavia. And a Scotsman who evangelized in Ireland. Now, when the Irish received the gospel, an Irishman in turn made the mandatory conquest to Scotland. And that's just to show you that no people have ever received the gospel except at the hands of aliens, which means people that are going into lands that they did not originate from. They are going out there to preach the gospel. So it's a call, this missionary call is for us to also go out as aliens into lands, into territories, into nations that have not received the gospel so that we can be agents to fulfill this missionary call. Once again, that is emphasizing that this uh, every member of the church has an obligation to preach the gospel. It is of necessity and it is not optional. And you might say, oh baby, I'm not gifted to preach the gospel. That is teaching us here that soul winners are not born. So don't say we cannot say we are not, we don't have that gift and we don't have that ability, which is a mandatory call, and soul winners are not born. They are made out of ordinary individuals and they possess some key qualities because all of us can be soul winners. But for us to be these soul winners, we need to possess a yielded spirit, a commitment to do God's will, a compassion for lost souls, and a deep sense of God's calling. When we have these qualities, we can we be the soul winners that God has called us to be. And that is praying a prayer for us here. That I pray that you will not disappoint God's grace upon your life and that you become an incurable soul winner in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us all become incurable soul winners because that's the call that he has given unto us that we need to use to. And now take the prayer point. Father, please help me to fulfill my calling as a soul winner in the mighty name of Jesus. 
This is an obligatory call. This is a call of necessity. Father, we pray as we, your children, O oh God, Lord, you will help us to fulfill our calling as soul winners in the mighty name of Jesus, O oh God. You will give, empower us. You will give us a yielded spirit. You will give us that empowerment and commitment to do your will. We will have a deep compassion for lost souls and we have a deep sense of this calling to fulfill this calling all the days of our lives in Jesus name in Jesus name we are prayed amen thank you for watching and see you tomorrow by God's grace